Hello everybody, welcome to Grinning Studios. My name is Grin and this is a TLDR guide for Astix scripts for Empyreon Galactic Survival. This is the TLDR guide, just getting you ready to go with it and use it right away without having to learn how to code. <laughs> I personally don't know how to code in this script or uh, know much about coding, uh, so I wanted to be able to use this awesome script mod by Astic. However, I don't want to spend all the time to learn all the code and, and uh, yeah. anyways, we'll just pass on that and go straight to it. If you're like me, you don't want to deal with any of that. So, how do we do this? First thing, you're gonna need to download the mod Astix scripts mod. All that information is in the description below. There is also a guide that I've linked to which will tell you everything that I might have missed here. Now once you've got the mod in and if you're playing on SP single player then you'll need to turn EAC off. Then you can start using the mod and for it you will need a base or a SV or HV or something CV to place it on, to place LCDs on actually. These mods require an LCD to work. You just grab his LCD, place it down. You're going to need probably another one. You might need more or you might want more depending on anything. But uh, once you've got it on your base, you can hit the P while looking at it, P button while looking at it and it will show you in the device menu where it is and what its name is. You want to add it to a group. So let's go ahead and add it to LCDs, LCD screen. I'm going to add the other one to LCD screen as well. If you don't have any groups, you can either use auto group or you can add a group yourself and name it whatever you want. Once you've got those in there, you can escape out of that, and if you just look at it and hit the P button, it should automatically go straight to that LCD. In order for these to work, you need to start with a script, and you need to name your LCD script. Script and some sort of name. So let's say script, colon, and my cool script. There you go, and hit enter to lock it in, and it's named. Now we need to put a script in it. I happen to have some scripts here that came with the LCD info demo on Astic's workshop page for Empyrean. There's all kinds of scripts here that you can copy and paste. Some of these are not you know, easily understandable, like how does this work? I don't know where the the script itself is, but most of them are pretty easy to understand. You've got the, the script and, and whatnot. The script and the output. So if I hit P on this, it'll see say script text format. And then here, this one is just text format. So script is the actual script and whatever the script name is, is the output for the display. Now this script that I'm using here is to disassemble or deconstruct a base or a CV, SV, HV, whatever you want. So I'm going to copy paste it, just hit control C, and in my guide that is linked down below you there's a couple scripts that you can copy paste and you can alt tab copy paste alt tab back in and it'll still copy paste so go to this one you're gonna hit F this time to open the text display text and then you're going to hit control V and that adds it in there okay now the script is there now we need to output the information of the script to this display I chose a 1 by 2 because it's going to put out some pretty long information and you want it to be big enough. 
If this isn't big enough, you can always use one of the LCD projectors to get, make it even bigger. Now, we're going to name this, uh, go look at the LCD and hit P and go to name and then name it to whatever the script is without the script. My cool script. Boom. There you go. And it outputs the information from this script onto the screen. This information is the SVs, HVs, bases, all that stuff that's in this area with these cores. Now, it tells you no core destruct 105. What that means is this thing that's out there needs to have its core renamed to this in order to start the deconstruction. So let's go to F104. Oh, wait. This is not going to work. There's a problem here. If you deconstruct something, you're going to need to put it somewhere. So in this case, on this script, you'll see it's got deconstruct stuff. Stuff is the name of the container that it will try to put all the stuff into. So I have these containers down here. Once you get your containers in, you're going to need to hit P on them, and you're going to need to, if they're not in a group, put them in a group, and then name them to whatever the name is on the script. You can just use stuff, or you can change this to whatever you want it to be, and then change your container to that that name, whatever that name is. So we've got the container now that is named to what it tells me it needs to be here. So if I wanted to change that, I'd just hit F, and then I could come up here, erase that, and type whatever I want. All right, now where is that? Let's see, which one is it? The Okay, Eclipse or Minor. Let's see the Eclipse. F104 Eclipse, where are you? There's the Comet Minor, LA Minor. Ha, huh, there's the Eclipse. So, come over to it. You're going to hit P while you're looking at it to open this up. Find the core. The core needs to be in a group. Once it's in a group, got core so you're gonna want to put colon what is that colon hyphen uh, capital D construct hyphen and then you need the the code or the uh, ID and the ID if you go into statistics will be at the bottom of bottom left of the statistics page that's 105 in this case really easy one back over here and type 105 and then once I oh is it 1005 all right then hit enter and the thing should just start deconstructing it soon I hope all right there might be a problem so let's find out what the problem is go over here to this Core, no core de oh it's figures destruct not deconstruct haha -ha. nomenclature is important so let's go back over here hit the P button destruct and enter there it goes boom gone and the only thing it leaves is the core which you can just take yourself and all of the blocks from that ship are now in the storage. And you can see I have another script here telling me what is in this storage box. For more information on that and how to get those things working, you can check the guide. But basically, you need uh, two LCDs. One LCD to run the script. Uh, which is this one right here. 
I've also included this in the guide if you want to copy paste it or you can get it from the demo ship the CD demo info demo ship all the links are in the description below so once you've got this done it's going to be uh, script cargo box infos or whatever you want it to be and then you just go to the other LCD that you want to display on and name it to uh, whatever the box is named in this case. In this case this will be the same name as the box. So this box's name is stuff. So this LCD's name is stuff LCD in that case. All right. That's how this one works. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments or send an email. You can check the email information in the in the uh, guide that I have written on the workshop page for this item here. All those links are down below. And if this helped at all, uh, I really am happy that I was able to help you at all. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. And stay creative. It's good for you.